Well, hello there, all you strange and interesting creatures of the internet. Welcome back to the All Seasons on F1 2021. As you can see from our vehicle performance comparison chart, we are still second from bottom in our half a potato, Williams. Yes, our half a potato, but we are catching Aston Martin. It's time to move on to the next Grand Prix. It's time for Hungary. Yes, we're always hungry for some points, but unfortunately, we don't usually get any because this is the worst track on the calendar for the Ulster. Anyway, practice has been completed. Some more lovely resource points to add to our collection. 1,680. We've got some more development boosts. We've got engine power, oil pressure, rear... What does all this mean? Please, what does all this mean? For God's sake... So out we go for our first quality run now. Take your bets. Where are we going to end up? Take your bets now. Where's it going to be? Is it going to be last? Is it gonna, it's going to be last. We know it is because Hookster is absolutely atrocious at this circuit. He just cannot get the balance right. So we're about to cross the line for the first qualified run. And it puts him in seventh position at the moment. 2.3 second. 2.3. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, we accelerate forward out to the blades qualified. You can see that we're down to 19th place. Yes, 19th position. We're slightly up at the delta time, though. So we may be able to improve on this. And maybe get up to the top 18. I'm not quite sure. But let's have a look as we're about to cross the line. Can we beat Latifi? Yes, we bloody well can. That's all we wanted to do. We have beaten Queen Latifi. 18th position at the moment. Wowzers. Me trousers. We accelerate forward out to the end of qualifying. It's just been completed. We haven't improved on our delta time, though. So it looks like it's going to be 19th place now. Or maybe, maybe even lower. Let's find out now where we actually finished in the race at Hungary. And Valtteri Bottas got pole position and we ended up bit. Wait. Wait. What? Wait. Why? Welcome to Budapest once again for another round of the Formula One World Championship. Historically, a good race for first victories with Button, Hill, Alonso and Heike Kovalainen all reaching the top step of the podium for the first time here. We're northeast of Budapest for the race today at the 2.7 mile Hungaro Ring circuit. 14 corners here, 8 to the right and 6 to the left on a track where downforce is king and passing is notoriously difficult. Anthony Davidson also joins me in the commentary box today. So, let's briefly discuss Lewis Hamilton. That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fin starts from pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Sainz, Lando Norris and Perez, Verstappen, Ricardo, Gasly and Fernando Alonso, Sonoda, Giovinazzi, Esteban Ocon and Vettel, Raikkonen, Russell, Lance Stroll, and Mick Schumacher, Latifi, and the captain. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. So it's time once again for one of those last to first finishes. The five lights go out on the all seasons career mode. And we say go, 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 and it's away he goes. Wow, great start of the line once again. We got, oh, I say that though, but the other cars are actually going away from us. We got Queen Latifi, we got Mick Schumacher, both the Hus drivers ahead of us. What are we going to do? We're going to dive straight in the middle. Yes, we do. Straight past a huge amount of cars in the turn one. We get past the Alfa Romeo, I do believe as well. Wow, jostling for position here. We are jostling for position. We're really happy to the 12th position. And look at this, we go for the move on for there. No. Oh, Alonso! Oh, pushing him a little bit wide there, pushing him a little bit wide. But we get through up into 11th place from right at the back of the grid. It's another fantastic performance from the guy that never gives up. And he never surrenders, don't you know, don't you know? Yes, so here we are then. We are chasing like crazy on Yuki Sonoda. 
Yes, there he is. There's Yuki as we go into this very, very tight chicane. You have to be very, very careful there because those bumps are horrific on those sausage curbs and you will jump straight up into the air if you hit them at the wrong angle. But as you can see, going a little bit wide on the circuit there, we're using all the track limits as we can because we're trying to catch up to Yuki Sonoda. Still on the first lap of the race. So Sonoda's got the gap out already to one second. Fernando Alonso is right up our gearbox, trying to get past a little bit of contact there from Fernando. But we managed to hold on to his 11th place. But unfortunately, we are just outside the World Championship points. Now, can we get into the points? Or is it going to be a no-show at this race in Hungary? Because it usually is with Ulster, because as I say, he just cannot get to grips with this circuit one little bit. As we cross the line and start lap two of this Grand Prix. So we accelerate for out of lap three. Still in the left place with Ulster at the moment. And look at that. Yuki Sonoda has now got the gap up to four seconds. Just over four seconds, in fact. We've now got uh, Gio Vanazzi behind us in the Alfa Romeo car and behind him we've got Esteban Ocon as we accelerate for out of lap 3 and as you can see Gio Vanazzi is trying for a move as we go into the chicane we have to go very very deep and almost cut the chicane there to avoid contact with Gio Vanazzi but we managed to hold on to this 11th place at the moment but look at the gap now to Sonoda 6 seconds we've got no chance of catching him whatsoever Ocon is behind Gio Vanazzi as we accelerate for out of lap 4 and we're getting more pressure now from the car behind from Gio Vanazzi under the DRS he goes Past us, but looks like he's gonna dive down the inside as he get past. Yes, he does. Look at that, fantastic. Goes a little bit wide, but he manages to hold on to his 11th place on that four now of this Grand Prix. Yuki's got the gap up to eight, almost nine. No, it is now, it's nine seconds as we accelerate for another lap six. As you can see, we've got a car behind. Who is this? This is one of the Aston Martins. It's either Stroll or it's Vettel, but we managed to hold on. To it's Vettel. It's Sebastian Vettel, and he's still fighting with us off to the right-hand side, as you can see. But we're going to have the tighter inside line into this turn. Oh, contact, contact between us and Vettel. Oh, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And we managed to get through and hold on to this 11th place at the moment as we accelerate for another lap seven. It's time for us to come in, I think, for our pit stop. Yes, so we pit from... 11th position and the car behind us is Ocon, he comes in at the same time, in fact a huge amount of cars are coming at the same time and so we will see what happens as this race pans out, look at this, all in a line, there's 6 of us, one, two, three, four, no 5 of us, wowzers me trousers, but some of the teams aren't ready, look they're still getting ready in the pits but I think our team are always ready, yes there they are, the Williams team waiting to collect our car to change on to the yellow sidewall tyre, fantastic, which will take us to the end of this stint and we're going to rejoin I do believe in, uh, no, it's cars going past us, there's cars going past us as we rejoin, we're going to be in, I think, 13th position, maybe, as a car just trying to get around the, the inside there, the husk car, but we managed to hold on to this position, and it is 13th place, but we've been beaten by George and the Russell, I don't believe it, George Russell, our teammate has beaten us as we accelerate forward now to lap 10, so we got George Russell now five seconds ahead of us up the road, and we are in 13th place with Mick Schumacher in the Hus car. Don't forget we were driving for that team. It's now behind us in 14th position. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So I don't think points are on the cards because I think we've lost some places in that pit stop. As we accelerate for the lap 13. Look at this, we're going to have some real pressure from behind now. This is Ocon trying for a move down the inside. Oh, I think that's a tiny bit of contact there. Tiny bit of contact. Ocon drops back a little bit, but we managed to hold on to this 13th place, but we got no chance of catching Russell as we accelerate for another lap 15 because he's now 16 seconds ahead of us. 16. This is a disaster. Absolute disaster for the Uxta. I know what we're going to get in, in judging at the end of this video. And as you can see now, we have reached the end of the race. It's lap 18. Lewis Hamilton, Sir Lulu of Lewisham, has won the race. And we are going to finish in a disappointing 13th place. Unlucky for Salma and unlucky definitely for Dukster. But I think this is about as best as he could do in a car that is definitely not up there with the top runners. And of course, it's his most unfavourite track of all. Yes, as he crosses the line in 13th position. Wowzers me trousers is all I can say about that race. Yes. Disappointing. But saying that, we get driver of the day. I, I don't know where that came from. That's that's definitely a fix. Yes. And there is Total Wolf, the Terminator. The Terminator. Who's finally started to talk a little bit Spanish now as well. Yes. Senorita. Senorita is your name. Selacana. Selacana. No. No. Oh. Okay. And there's Tiamat Marju, famous F1 YouTuber to the stars. Fantastic. My week, my year, my century is now complete. Now complete.
Let's go up to the podium now and stop and taking the, the piss, Dave. And there is the, the winner of the race, the Sir Lulu, Sir Lulu, Charles Leclerc, looking to throw, he did well, as well. And so did Valtteri Bottas, it's time now for the champagne to go over everyone, yes. La 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 I'll do the music, I'll do the music, yes, there you go. Fantastic, fantastic indeed. So let's have a look at the scores and the doors after this round and see where we are. Well, no points, of course, for us. And Lewis Hamilton won the race, about to be in second place. So in the championship now at the moment, we're still in 11th place with 11 points, curiously enough. Yes, Lewis Hamilton out in the lead and George Russell in 15th place with no points on the board. What a loser. What an absolute loser. Loser. And we're seventh in the constructors. Let's move on to the next Grand Prix. It's time now for Belgium from Spa. Frankie Champs. Now, I'm sure this is going to be a lot better. I'm sure this race will be a lot better. Oh, we've got a season break coming up, unfortunately. Oh, oh, come on, then. Let's get on with it, for cock's sake. Season breaks. It's unbelievable how much breaks these drivers have these days. It really is. Do they ever do any work? Do they ever do any work? Anyway, so we are now advancing the time. We've got some more parts going on the car, as you can see. MG UK. And it's time now to go to Belgium for the Spa Frankie Champs circuit. And practice has once again been completed. And we got once again quite a lot of points to our tally. 1,740 this time. And we've got more development boosts, rear downfalls, electrical systems, weight reduction. Yes, that's what we need, some weight reduction. And go on a bloody diet there, Nookster. Go on a bloody diet. Oh, God. So, first qualifying run at the absolutely gorgeous Spa Frankie Champ circuit. Let's have a look to see what time this is going to put him about across the line. And it's going to put him in. It's 20th. Yes, 20th. Now, fortunately, we made a boo boo. In fact, we made a huge boo boo and we forgot to change our engine components. You can see on the right hand corner there that we. Yes. So what we've done is we've taken a penalty. Unfortunately, we've changed the components over, so we're not going to be really slow in the race. But we are going to start in last place once again. I don't believe it. Oh, God, this bloke's such a pillock. He really is. Welcome along then to the Belgian Grand Prix, the race that gave us the maiden victory for the Jordan team in 1998. And in the same team, the phenomenal debut of a young Michael Schumacher. There's always something special around one of the many corners of this fan favorite circuit. So here we are once again, ready to go racing through the Ardennes forest. 4.35 miles of long straights, fast corners, and massive elevation changes. It makes this not only one of the most exciting circuits on the calendar, but one that makes for some consistently high quality racing as well. Simply put it, there really is no place quite like Spa. Anthony Davidson, a very warm welcome to you as you join me in the commentary box for today's event. Now, I want to ask you about Lewis Hamilton. That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? There are never any guarantees in this business, but certainly the performance last time out would have boosted their confidence coming into this one. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Verstappen, Norris, Sergio Perez and Ricardo, Vettel, Sainz, Leclerc and Pierre Gasly, Fernando Alonso, Ocon, Yuki Tsunoda and Giovinazzi, Raikkonen, Stroll, George Russell, and Mick Schumacher, Latifi, and the captain. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. So there you go, there's our 22 place grid penalty as the five lights go out on the all seasons clear mode. We say go, 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 and it's away he goes. Wow, well. great start of the line, and we managed to get past the Harsus. We're gonna go to turn one, we've got Mick Schumacher, we've got Stroll, we've got Viking, we've got Russell, we've got Giovinazzi, and we go past all of them. Oh, this is an embarrassment of riches, an embarrassment of riches. Already we get up into 10th position. No, no, it was there. We were almost in the points, but we got a bastard Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. Oh no, this is not gonna work in your own rouge, unfortunately, but it looks so bad. To back off out of that one, I was that was gonna be an absolute calamity, absolute calamity. But look at these from 
last on the grid. We have got up into 11th place already. And yes, we have done it, everyone. But we're under a lot of pressure here for the cars behind. We've got the uh, Alpine, Alpine of Fernando Alonso. But he's just been overtaken once again by Yuki Sonoda. Yes, Yuki Sonoda. So this is not looking good for Nuxner. But can we get a point out of this race? We just need a point to justify uh, our position in the team, basically. Yes, we just need a point because George Russell still hasn't got any points. So we are still chasing Charles Leclerc. Look at this beautiful scenery at this track. It's just absolutely gorgeous. The sun is shining. It reminds us all of those great summer days in the UK when it was 40C and everything was melting. Yes, I was melting. I, I, I just ended up in a puddle on the floor. Anyway, we continue. Still the first lap of the race. Gorgeous cockpit view there. Look at it. Absolutely gorgeous. Still chasing Charles Leclerc in the Ferrari car and we're in our Williams potato. Our Williams half a potato. Yes, it's not that bad, but it's not that good either, as to be said. And we've still got Yuki behind us. We've got Charles Leclerc now one second ahead. Can we catch him? Can we catch him and get into the World Championship points? This is all we need. Just one point. Just one point, please. F1 gods, give me the point. Give me the point. We're about to finish lap one now. Still chasing Charlie Boy Leclerc in the Ferrari car. It's about to start lap two. And we've still got Yuki Tsunoda right up our Jack Jones. Right up our Jack Jones. As we accelerate forward out lap two. Look at this. We go for a move on Charles Leclerc and we do it. We get past up into 10th place we have done it lads we are in the world oh a bit wide on the exit there but we are in the world championship points ahead of charlie boy leclerc wowzers me trousers i cannot believe it i cannot believe it. from last i forget last on the grid because of our slight little mistake i'm not changing the engine components what a mistake to make as we now go through o rouge glorious o rouge past radion yes here we go, here we go, lap three, lap three. So we're now chasing Pierre Gasly, who's 1.4 seconds But look at this, Ferrari and Charles Leclerc, he's going for a move down inside, he's going to get very, very, oh, is it going to be contact? Yes, there is, it's contact. And Charles Leclerc has gone round. I think he just got up on the curb, in fact, there, and just sort of spun himself round. I don't think there's any sort of missed givings with the hookster there. He may have given him a slight little squeeze, but not too bad. But anyway, we hold on to this 10th place one point everyone as we accelerate for now look at this look at this yuki sonoda got past us but we managed to get the move done and get the place back so we are desperately now holding on to this 10th position we get a warning from the fia but personally fuck you <laughs> as we accelerate forward now to lap five still holding on to this 10th place but i think we're coming for our pit stop now this is the right time to come in for our stop almost at half distance yes in we come We've dropped down the field hugely, unfortunately, already because lots of cars have gone past. We're down to 16th position. This is looking very dodgy indeed for that World Championship point. But anyway, we come in. There is our team. Lots of cars have already come in and gone out again. We've got some smoke. We've got some smoke for the Aston Martin team. Hopefully, it's, everything's okay. And now we change on to the yellow sidewall tyre for the rest of the stint. Thank you, lads. Thank you very much indeed. We're back to rejoin in set. 17th place we rejoined to a clear track though so that's good but oh my god 17th position that isn't good whatsoever so we got Vettel in front of us four seconds up the road and Mick Schumacher behind three almost four seconds as well as we accelerate for that lap six just about to go past the pits and we got cars pitting thankfully we have some cars coming to the pits so hopefully we can improve on our position and maybe get back into this 10th position let's have a look and see if we do lots of cars we have 14 for 12 12 come on come on more than 12 no 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 you bugger oh it's almost 13 there's a car coming out who is it it was alonso but no we hold on to 12th position at the moment but we've lost two positions in that pit stop. Now, hopefully, someone else is going to come into the pits. Hopefully, as we accelerate for that lap seven. So we're still in 12th position, still outside the World Championship points at the moment. Fernando Alonso is coming up very close. Oh, we do the move. We do the one move to try and block him, but we're sort of doing a half a move to try and block him again. But he gets past. Well, always contact with Fernando Alonso, and there's more contact with Fernando Alonso, and he gets past us this time. But I think we're going to see if we can hang him out to dry, and we do. And oh, he goes round. He goes round. Oh, no. Oh, God. Fernando Alonso has gone round in the Alpine. We continue on going. We continue on going. Now, just look at the mini map. Is he is he still going? Uh, not at the moment. Uh, no. Y yes, he is. Yes, he's still going. It's okay. Fernando Alonso still in the race. Still in the race. Fantastic. As we accelerate for that lap seven. And as you can see, two cars have come in for their pit stop. So we may get back into this one single solitary world championship point. 
It's going to look very, very dicey though because I think they're almost out of the pits. Look at this. This is going to get very close as we're about to go into turn one. They all hug the wall very tight there. They're going to come out. They come out. It's German Alci, but we get past him. But Ocon's jumped us. So no, we're not going to do it. We're not going to get this World Championship point. But are we? We're going to have to really pile the bees now because of course Ocon's on cold tyres. We're all oh, bloody hell. We're on very, very hot tyres at the moment as we're chasing down Esteban Ocon. But can we catch up to him? And look at this. German Alci's trying to get past us behind as well this is unbelievable scenes unbelievable scenes in fact you could say biblical absolutely biblical as we're still chasing Esteban Ocon now who's just ahead of us he's got my point he's got my one world championship point as we accelerate for that lap nine we have got a little bit closer to Ocon now let's see if we can get past we now go down the hill and we're going to climb up the gorgeous Oru section once again through Radion look at this look at this we're getting ever closer to Ocon but we've, we've almost run out of VOS. No, we have run out of VOS. But Luke's just not going to worry about that. He's just going to keep on going and see if he can dive down the inside. Is he going to go for it? Yes, he does. Oh, contact, contact. Looks to go wide. Looks to go wide. But he gets the move done. He gets a little bit of a wall in there for the contact. Yes, but he does it. He does it. Up into 10th position now. Looks to. We are in that World Championship points. We accelerate for the last lap of the race. We're going through Oroos for the very, very last time in this Grand Prix. And it looks like we have done it. Well, I say that though. Look at this. German Arce behind is going very... What is wrong with these drivers? What is wrong with them? That's absolutely crazy. They seem to go absolutely ridiculous on the last lap of the Grand Prix on this F1 2021 game as we force off Giovinazzi. But we've got Sebastian Vettel going for a move now as well. Oh, we managed to force him wide as well. This is absolutely crazy. They're all kamikaze drivers. I'm sure they are. And we're going wide now on the exit. Oh, God. Come on. Hold it together, Dave. Hold it together. And do we? Do we? No, I don't think so. Where's Ocon? Where is Ocon? He's behind us now. Now we've got Stroll again. As we accelerate forward out. This is still the last lap of the race. We've got cars all over the show. Behind you can see the rearview mirrors. This is absolutely crazy for these drivers. I can't see where they suddenly get this burst of speed from on the last lap. And look at this. Ocon's got past us. We've got Stroll trying to get past us as well. This is going to get very, very tight. Very, very tight indeed. But we may to get the inside line into this final selection of corners. And we go bloody wide on this final selection of corners once again. I'm surprised we haven't got a penalty yet, but look at this. Just two more calls to go, and it looks like we are going to get that one single solitary world championship point as we cross the line. Yes, get in there. Fantastic. I'm chuffed now. Well chuffed indeed. Well, that's exactly what I wanted, and that's exactly what... Oh, 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 oh. And I get driver of the day as well driver of the day i'm sure some people in the comments will have something to say about that anyway there is once again spanish toto wolf spanish toto wolf for senorita senorita no you can't do it twice in one video dave no 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 anyway there is the race winner valtteri bottas in the mercedes car of course Fantastic. Well done, Valtteri. There. Oh, there he is, the great man again. The great man again. Well, he's got a McLaren, don't you know? Don't you know? Don't you know? Sports car, don't you know? Don't you know? Yes. Keeps it in his garage for 65 days of the year and just takes it out once a year to clean it. But apart from that, it's a McLaren, everyone. Yes. Onto the podium now. There is Valtteri Bottas. Valtteri Bottas. What a name. Taking the trophy and now it's time for the champagne to go over everyone once again. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. He didn't know they were the worst of that song, did you? Yes, they are. I just made them up. So, here we go then. Let's have a look at the final point standings now. Still in 11th place, but we've now got 12 points. Not 11, 12 points now. Lewis Alves down the lead with John 30. And George Russell still hasn't got a single point. What a loser. What an absolute bloody loser. And we've now moved up to six of the constructors. Well done. Well done indeedy. Well, that's another exciting episode. The All Seasons completed, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. You have been awesome, as always. And yes, of course, there will, of course, be more later.